today I'm watching Angel season two, episode 10. Episode nine was a crazy episode. Drusilla was back. She turned Darla back into a vampire. Angel went through these painstaking trials and just proved how much she cares about Darla, was willing to sacrifice his life for her own. And unfortunately, it didn't work because she's already been brought back once. So the trials kind of were futile. And then to have Lindsay bust through the door just as Darla and Angel were having this moment, basically, and Angel stuck watching Drusilla turn Darla back into a vampire, which she had just come to terms with accepting her fate and was processing it. And of course, this happened. So I'm very worried to see what this episode will be about because... It's not looking good for anybody. Basically, Darla is the worst when she's a vampire. I think this is just the worst thing imaginable that Angel would have wanted for her. And now to see her go that route again. So we know the amount of pain and destruction that Darla can cause and Drusilla. So I'm very worried about the two of them partnering up again. I'm really enjoying the season so far. I think the last episode was probably one of my favorite episodes of the season so far. Just a really cool concept. So well done. So I'm very excited to continue to watch this season. And thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, Watch, be sure to join Patreon, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. It's, it's, it's too late. Someone made Donna drink? It was her. Okay, way too many pronouns here. Yeah, they're playing a guessing game of trying to figure it out. Drusilla's here. Good lord. Who's Drusilla? Ha 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 ha! Welcome to the crazy party. You should sit down. I have to find her. Drusilla? She probably ain't in there. Ha ha ha! Delirious. I can save her. Save whom? Darla. His main mantra, I can save her, I can save her. That means... Clock is ticking. Nah, nah, what I'm saying is that means the granddaughter remade the grandmother. Oh. I guess, and you think about it like that. That's bizarre. Anything? Lindsay McDonald's assistant says he is in the office, but he's in a meeting. I wonder what's actually in that day. cup of blood that they make him drink. Fruit punch or something? I don't know. What the heck? Great apartment. Love those built-ins. And of course he moved out. And that's starting to make more sense why he gave Angel the invitation then. Yes, it is. I knew that pregnancy was in trouble the moment she told me about it. Then as a rail, couldn't be healthy for the baby. I'm sorry, what? What? I can hear them singing to me. Yeah, I'm very concerned about this nursery setup. For you. Oh, yeah. Grandmother is very pleased with it. That's such a bizarre connection, yeah. She's dead. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. She's <laughs> got all the black breed back. <laughs> Is that like a nursery rhyme? Is that what she's singing to her? Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna narrow it down much. If it's just a burial she's after. One doesn't need a cemetery for that, I'm afraid. Just dead. Yeah, unfortunately, that's right. <laughs> Let's hope she's not claustrophobic in there. Oh my gosh. And you'd have one take to get her right without the dirt completely like going in her mouth or anything like. Oh, I feel bad for Angel. Oh, bonked him. Oh, Drusilla with the shovel. Oh my God, so rude. It's a gift at all for our newborn grandmommy. Ah! I'm still lagging. Oh my god. And she's awake. Oh no, 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 no. You've got limited time. <laughs> oh my god. She's literally risen from the dead. And I'm sure she's hungry. <laughs> Try, tried your best. <sighs> yep. Piers Darla. Oh my god. Oh 
my god, right through the ceiling. Grandma! She's like, don't call me that. She's a strong baby, that's for sure. Oh my god. She's attacking whoever's in the way, yeah. Don't fall for it. Don't do it. It's a trap. That's not windows left, man. Okay, just jumps off the side of the building. Well, good luck, everybody. Now she's loose in the city. That's not good. Oh no, the chaos is just beginning. Who wants to join me? My car's outside. If not, that's fine too. You and me and everyone gear up. Let's go. <laughs> Gun's always reliable. Down for a fight. Yep. Yeah, Wolfram and Hart would be their only real lead. Even if they're not there, at least maybe they can find some clues or something. I don't know. Work isn't all they notice. It's also important to have healthy attachments outside of the office. Just for appearances. They don't actually care about him. <gasps> He's very cross. Can't imagine why. There's an untagged vampire in the building. Perhaps we should take our guests to security. And it's Darla, not Angel. Ha ha ha. Warm. Oh, God. Good night. Drusilla playing this mom is... That's disturbing. It's in the other direction. Turn around. We're almost there. Angel. Of course she gets a vision right now, yeah. Why does it look like Cordelia's a doll in the back seat? Did you see that? Oh my god, that was so bad. Was she not like available for that shot? Did I do something to displease you? Oh my god. Yeah! Darla's just throwing her around like a rag doll. Grandmother, why? <laughs> Grandmother, why? Backhands her. I thought it was what you wanted to be safe. Yeah, Darla's now like, why did you turn me back into a vampire? Oh, this guy's gonna get eaten. Yeah, that's right, sweetheart. Why don't you and your girlfriend take the makeout session on home? The rest of us have lives. Not for much longer, bud. Not for long. Thank you. Should have stayed in your truck, bud. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Just like two friends out for a night on the town. Oh my goodness. This is horrible. Morgog. What do you want? We're here to help. What is he summoning? I felt it in my vision. We've really got to handle this one with care. You know, delicate. Or throw his boon box at him. Is that a purple rain poster? Oh, God. Okay. And Morgog's not the way. Morgog couldn't find his way to his hairy spine hump without a road map. <laughs> He's got, you know, a million reasons to live. I bet. Okay, got it? Good. Oh, God. No. I'm going on this mission. In any case, that young man still clearly needs our help. Go help him. I got more important things to do, okay? Yeah, Angel's like, I don't care about this guy. I'm going to go figure out what's going on with Darla. Aren't they, though? <laughs> oh. Here. Might be the first time we've had a shopping montage in Angel. For a spree when you could have, um, say, a massacre. Great. Just encouraging their bad behavior as usual. This is going to be horrible. Oh my god. One of Darla's favorite words. Customer with a question here. <laughs> oh, good night. Action more difficult than even he realizes. Regardless, Lila's correct. We won't have to worry about Angel anymore. Oh my god, that scared me. Oh, cheese and rice. Angel! 
I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Holland Manners. Be careful who you offer. His last name is Manners. There's worse things to lose, aren't there? Is he gonna push one of them out the window like we saw in the first episode? A few of them. I am division head of special projects. Special projects. Like special vampire projects. Chrome Tower and people die. Innocent people. And yet I just can't seem to care. It's his major flaw. Yeah. Where? Well, that would be telling. In any case, you may want to hurry. So many lives hanging in the balance. It's like I could stay here and fight up these guys, or I could go track down Darla. I'm cool with it. Okay. Oh, look who it is. Okay, hello, Kate. Is she gonna help him? Because he saved her life last time? They're not done, are they? Not even close. I think they're just getting started. Oh, well, look who's back from their shopping spree. Ladies. How did they get in? How? Your wife was kind enough to invite us in. That makes sense. Okay, great. Very sweet she was. Like Clover. Past tense. Yep, see you later. A massacre. Oh my god, I hate the way she says that. They're like, well, you guys are all in one room, so we thought we'd just save time. So, cue massacre. Oh my gosh. Pretty lawyers all in a row. Of course, Drusilla makes a game out of it, yeah. I'm glad we were able to save you. Are you? I guess you really care about me as a person. <laughs> the whole team. Why do I feel like there's going to be a lot less lawyers in this world? You have beautiful skin. I moisturize. Is that the trick? No. I was very thoughtful of you. <laughs> you were in here the entire time. I needed a new dress for the office party. Oh, she's been hiding in the change room. Expensive, but they couldn't make up my mind, and then I kept thinking they were gonna come here to kill me too. Was the office party she's supposed to go to Wolfram and Hart? They said something about a party. Tasting. Like, literal. Was intended as a wine tasting, but now I think it's turned into more of a human tasting. <laughs> People huddled together, crouching in fear. Oh my, Drusilla. You've been restored. You're a superior being. You can have anything you want. Oh, she knows it. Don't worry. Nothing. Why aren't you afraid? Does Lindsay secretly want to be a vampire? I guess I just don't mind. <laughs> no one's going to die here. This is just a friendly get-together amongst colleagues. You did invite them for a massacre, so... Drew, honey. In our new digs, we have to put in a people cellar. A people cellar? Well, that's horrible. Holland's like, well, sugar sticks. Guess I shouldn't have messed around with those vampires. Angelus. How's this gonna go? Oh man. Ha <laughs> ha! Come to punish us. Yeah. Yeah. Spank us till Tuesday. <laughs> oh. It'd be bad if you do. Oh, that's uncomfortable. What's happening? Angel. He does hate Wolfram and Hart. About them. <laughs> Come on, love. I never did get that goodbye kiss. Oh, no, thank you. But not tonight. God's sake. What does that mean? Please. He's not gonna help them? I'm gonna die. Angel. And yet somehow, I just can't seem to care. Wow, 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 wow! Angel locks the door. Angel. Good night! He literally locked them in there with the vampires. Angel. Oh my god. Wow, 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 wow! Angel, come on! He obviously knew what was gonna happen and he's just walking away. And now he's telling Wesley and everybody what happened. Oh 
just walked away. Oh my gosh, yep. No, I walked to my car, then I drove away. Oh my god, not the point. You could have stopped them. And I will. When? After they've finished off all the people you don't like? Basically, like, come on, man. It's certainly true that these lawyers brought this on themselves. What you did is... It's wrong. You went too far. He basically gave them approval to massacre everybody in that room. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Don't you see where this is taking you? Listen to her. He doesn't seem to be affected at all. Between you and real darkness. Best believe that, man. He literally said he didn't care and walked away. And he it doesn't look like he cares now. You're all fired. I'm sorry, what? What? Because they're holding him accountable for his actions? <gasps> what the f is happening? Oh my gosh, Angel. What? He doesn't mean that. Come on. What? 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 Angel's going bad, but without being angelous. Um. What? So that was my first time watching Angel season two, episode 10, another completely crazy episode. Obviously, Darla and Drusilla are on a rampage and are just tearing up the town. And obviously, we see that ending with Wolfram and Hart. I wasn't expecting that to be the way that those villains would be killed off. I thought it would be Angel and they had been in season one and obviously carried over to season two. So I'm curious if we will now have a new villain. If somehow Lindsay survived or Lila survived, I'd feel like Holland is a hard no, but they didn't show much of it. Not that I wanted to see this horrific massacre, but it's very possible that they kept it open for, you know, the possibility of bringing these characters back. Maybe there was a secret exit or something. I don't know. But yeah, them just being all locked in that room and Angel just walking away was very upsetting. And that's so not like his character. We've seen him usually give, you know, people second chances and third chances and always trying to help them and save them. And his mantra basically is like, I can save or like, I can fix it. And he's not usually overly expressive anyway, but he was just a blank stare and said, I didn't care. Basically, he's like, yeah, cool. You guys are going to kill them off for me. Great. One less thing I have to worry about. Just close the door. And not only close the door, locks them in so that they can't escape. Like, what the heck, man? And Wesley's like, you just walked away. And he's like, no, I didn't walk away. I just got in my car and drove. Like, that's so not the point, obviously. And just to see Angel's response to that instead of him trying to justify it in some way and being like, well, you know, they were doing horrible things and they had obviously been Angel's rivals for a long time. And I'm sure he's glad they're not around anymore. But just the fact that he showed like zero remorse for it. And there was other people in that room as well who were obviously involved in this. Like they knew what Wolfram and Hart were up to. But still, he just didn't care. There was like 20 people in there. Like this is literally going to be a massacre. Like that was not an exaggeration. And we've seen Angel basically since Darla got here. You know, he's been very withdrawn. He's been sleeping extra amounts and even Cordelia saying like, oh, he barely says good morning to me. Ask for a cup of blood. Like he's been extra distant and extra brooding and this is definitely not helping. And just letting Darla and Drusilla basically run free over the city now. Like he's supposed to be out there killing the vampires and stopping demons. And he just let two incredibly dangerous ones have free reign over his city basically. I'm sure he'll try and go after them at some point, but like he knows that after they're done killing all of these people, they're not going to, you know, take a few months off. Like they're going to keep killing people and even going to the clothing store and seeing, you know, the poor girl hiding in the closet and, you know, the two people who had been killed there. He knows it's just going to be like that for as long as they're around. Basically, they're not going to stop. And just the complete out of the blue firing. So that was definitely unexpected. I was in no way expecting Angel to have that reaction. And especially, you know, these are our main villains. Now we don't get a showdown between Angel and Wolfram and Hart. They're gone now. So if we do get a new villain, I'm very curious to see who it is. And then part two of that is, you know, him deciding to fire Wesley, Cordelia, and Gunn. And just like, what? 
and firing them because they don't agree with his behavior, not firing them because they stop showing up to work or something like that, firing them because they're trying to hold him accountable for what he did and saying they're not okay with it and he shouldn't be okay with it either. And instead of him saying like, okay, I was out of line, you're right, like whatever it would be, he's like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this. Uh, if you're not with me, then you can get out, basically, and fires them all. Fires them all. And, like, Cordelia's been with him since day one. Gunn is relatively new to this scene. Obviously, we had Doyle in season one, but Wesley's been around for a while now and just completely says, you know what? Forget this. I'm going to be on my own now. I don't need you guys. And even when he's heading over to Wolfram and Hart... They obviously volunteer to go with him because they know he's walking into a trap and he was quickly surrounded by all those police officers with stakes, but he still insists on going out alone and doesn't want anybody's help and now is just shutting them out even more and... I guess we'll see in the next episode if it was a serious threat, if he actually means for them to no longer be employed, if he's gonna take some time and reassess things, I don't know, but obviously we need them like there is no show without the team like we can't just be angel on his own he has to have the team and cordelia's visions are obviously a big part of this as well and even that guy that he went to go rescue who was about to unalive himself from cordelia's vision he didn't care about his main priority was trying to stop drusilla and darla and obviously they can do a lot of damage, but he didn't even give this guy five minutes. He walks in, you know, throws the radio at him, puts his gun in that bucket of oil and is like, okay, on to the next problem. Like, it just seems like he's lost a little bit of his compassion for humanity and he's slowly not caring as much. And as he said, as he's closing the doors, he's like, you know what? I just don't care. And that Lindsay was the only one who wasn't afraid and she got no like rating of feelings off of him, basically. And I understand Darla and Drusilla would be, yeah, they're the big catch. Like, that's what you're trying to prevent from wreaking havoc all over the city. But then he gives up that and he just lets them do whatever they want anyway. And this guy, like I said, who knows what's going to happen, what the repercussions of this are going to be. And as Wesley said, there's always a reason for these visions. They're supposed to intervene. They're supposed to be there. And Angel didn't give this guy the time of day. So I'm very worried to see what the repercussions of that are going to be. It was super creepy to see Drusilla calling... Darla, grandma, and baby at the same time, and daughter. It was so weird, and her, like, acting like this nesting mom. You know, she's got her little layout, and she's got this beautiful greenhouse, and she's so, like, particular and making her plans, and it's so bizarre that they've... The siring connection is definitely crossing boundaries, and it's just so weird, and Darla coming back, and... For a split second, she was like Angel, like recognizing him. And I think that just broke his heart even more. And him standing over her, you know, just about to stake her and would have put an end to this, obviously. And Drusilla walks in and of course we see what happens. Kate was in this episode and she realizes that, you know, Darla and Drusilla are out of her scope of power. And I think that was interesting for her character because she has always been very much like, I can do it, I can take care of it. And I think this time she realized like, okay, this is a little bit out of my depth. And with Angel saving her from the previous episode with the shroud, maybe she recognized that, okay, there's a lot of pieces going on here and she doesn't have vampire abilities. She's a human and she would just be walking into a trap if she tried to stop Drusilla and Darla on her own. So she sees, you know, Angel's been arrested and lets him go basically because she's hoping he can stop them. And that's not what happens at all. I in no way think Kate would have let him out of the car if she knew that he was just going to let this massacre occur and lock in these people. I'm really hoping Drusilla and Darla don't turn those people into vampires because that's going to be a hot mess. We don't need vampire Lindsay and Holland and Lila running around. That's not what we need at all. And just terrifying how quickly Darla escalates as a vampire and goes back into her own horrible ways. And her and Darla go, you know, skipping off into the night, basically like two best friends. And just seeing the two of them together and seeing them back together as vampires is so disturbing. And they committed a massacre in the first night that Darla's back as a vampire. Top of the list. Massacre. Like, just pure chaos. So... I'm very worried for what's going to be in store for the next episode and what chaos they're going to get up to. 
overall a crazy episode the last episode and this one felt like just a continuation which I love I'm glad they didn't kind of go back to like a monster of the week episode with this I'm glad we got to see what was happening because it would have been agonizing to wait another week longer and I'm very curious to see what the next episode will be I'm hoping they just continue on and hopefully Angel has changed his mind and hasn't fired everybody I think LA is in big trouble with Darla and Drusilla on the loose and Angel not seeming overly concerned about it because even as Wesley said, like, oh, it's okay if they kill people as long as you think that they're bad guys. Like, that's his justification for it, basically. And we know that Darla and Drusilla are just going to kill whoever they want. They're not going to be worried about whether it's a good person or a bad person. They're just going to go on a crazy rampage throughout town. And if Angel is the only one who's responsible for stopping them, I'm very worried of what that's going to look like. And even Darla's saying like, oh, like, give me one last kiss. And he's like, oh, I will. Don't worry. Like, he's just delaying it. And he also has to process the fact that he has to be the one to kill her, which I'm sure is just heartbreaking, especially like she was a human like a day ago, two days ago. And they were, you know, planning on spending the next three months together and now she's a vampire and he has to literally drive a stake through her heart and kill her once and for all for good. If we do get a new villain, I don't know what that'll look like. Like I said, it's possible some of Wolfram and Hart would have survived. Um, please no spoilers. I'm worried to see what's going to happen if Kate finds out Angel allowed this massacre. I don't know how she would find out, but I feel like that's going to just set them back 10 steps, obviously, and they had kind of come to some common ground. We don't know where Lindsay's moved. He just asked for all of his stuff to get sent to Wolfram and Hart. Maybe he's just living there for the moment. I don't know, but Angel obviously doesn't have access to his apartment anymore anymore. And if Cordelia and Wesley and Gunn are out on their own, what's going to happen if Cordelia gets a vision and they have to try and fight it without Angel? So yeah, lots of big things in this episode and the episode prior. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen next, especially as we're almost, you know, at that halfway point of the season. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. And I'm sure she's hungry. Okay, just jumps off the side of the building. Or throws boon box at him. His last name is Manners. Q Massacre. Oh my gosh. Why do I feel like there's gonna be a lot less lawyers in this world? A people seller. Well, that's horrible. He literally locked them in there with the vampires.